Hey guys, today I'm in Ottawa and I'm here for the Canada Strong and Free Networking Conference. This is an annual gathering of people from the right of center movement in Canada to come and discuss different ideas. We at the Canadian Constitution Foundation have a booth set up where we are selling copies of our book. We have a petition going to stop and fix Bill C-63, the online harms bill, which will lead to some government censorship that we're really concerned about. And we have some fun signs with different slogans for people to hold up and take social media photos with. Today, I'm gonna to go and talk to some of the people who are attending the conference about what they think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is today. here with my friend Aaron. Aaron, why don't you tell me what do you think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is? Oh, the government. <laughs> Specifically the government that we have right now. Um, I don't, I wouldn't go as far as to say they um, are deliberately trying to trample on our, our liberties, although I understand why some people feel that way. But boy, they sure do have a way of everything that they pass um, impacts liberties. And they, they don't even seem to care. They seem to minimize, especially threats to free speech. I think it's a real problem. And so at the very least, they are, you know, in the worst case, they are actively trying to undermine our liberties. But even if they're not actively, they're still achieving it anyway. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks, Aaron. So I'm here with Rupa, and Rupa, I wanted to know, what do you think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is? Um, that's a great question, Christine. I think there are many, many threats. It's really hard to pin it down to one thing, but if I had to pick one thing uh, that really animates me is government overreach uh, in every sphere of our life. And, uh, and that is just getting out of control and uh, every day, uh, we lose a little bit of our freedoms as a result of that. Yeah, I agree with you completely. Government overreach is a huge problem. Thanks so much. Yep, pleasure. I'm here with Jennifer. Jennifer, what do you think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is? Um, I think it's the partisan politics. Yeah, so during the, after the Freedom Convoy um, ordeal went down, I wrote a National Post article talking about how Justin Trudeau ran on unity but divided the nation and how we saw people during that point in time that were happy limiting Canadians' freedoms or whatever it needed to be in order to just stay on their team and see their fellow Canadians suffer. Yeah, absolutely. Great points. Thank you so much. Yeah. So fr I'm here with Franco. Franco, what is the biggest threat to freedom in Canada? I think it's just the overall growing size of government. I mean, especially in Ottawa, the government has got so big that obviously impacts your ability to earn a living, spend money the way you choose, but it impacts all different types of freedoms. Like, Christine, I know you're doing a lot of work on the uh, online harms bill. Well, the bureaucracy that has to manage that whole thing is funded by taxpayers. So as you see the size of government go up, not only do you see the cost of living go up, but you see the government begin to infringe on more and more freedoms. Absolutely. Great points, Franco. Thank you. Thank you. So now Conservative Party leader Pierre Polyev is about to start speaking, so I'm going to go in and check it out. So I'm here with Catherine Swift, and I want to know, Catherine, what do you think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is? Apathy on the part of Canadians. Uh, I think what we've seen under the Trudeau government um, with the Emergencies Act uh, invocation and happily overturning, and thanks to you for that, uh, and, um, but also the, the tolerance of, of uh, so much incursion with our online activities and so on, our freedoms have diminished significantly. And if we fought back hard against them, 
uh, then I don't believe that governments would feel they could get away with it as easily. Thanks so much, Catherine. Great point. My pleasure. So I'm here with Dean. Dean, what do you think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is? Christine, I think it's the fact that we have not really examined our institutions uh, lately and look to reform our institutions. We're seeing uh, a lot of groupthink. We're seeing uh, taking ideas from the past century, trying to deploy those in a world that is changing uh, on the fly. And we need to look at reforming our institutions and making them more robust in order to deal with the de democratic issues uh, and freedom uh, period in our country. Absolutely. Great point. Thanks, Dean. So I am here with Kate Marland. Kate, what do you think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is today? Well, Christine, I think the biggest threat to freedom in Canada is the government and government overreach. So if we can get that under control, we'll be on the right track. Great points, Kate. Well, that is it, guys. I'm back in my room now after a long day at the conference. I hope that you enjoyed watching my interviews with people, and I hope I get to see you next year at the Canada Strong and Free Networking Conference. Thanks for watching, and let's keep fighting for freedom in Canada.